We will start with James Ham. Hey, Darren. Happy New Year. I appreciate it. Happy New Year, too. Hey, uh, you guys came up just short. Can you just walk us through uh, those last two uh, three-pointers that you and Buddy took and uh, just how close you guys are to, to getting over the hump in this game? Oh, I mean, I think we got two good looks at it. Uh, neither one went down, but, um, I mean, you continue to take steps. You know, I don't think we uh, finished the game the way we wanted to. I mean, we executed a couple plays, but – at the end of the day, obviously, we'll look at those two shots, but um, it's a lot. It's a lot of little things that I think, you know, would have dug us out of that out of that position. Sean Cunningham, hey Fox. Um, the way you guys competed, Luke, was pretty complimentary. Of obviously, had you know so many lead, lead changes. Game was tied a lot. Um, I guess you mentioned some of these the little things. Is that what's going to probably bug you most heading into the next game? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, happened again uh, the third quarter come out a couple turnovers they get they get leak outs and easy easy uh dunks and layups um so i mean you just kind of look at little things like that and even the first quarter they got a couple uh a couple leak out layups and dunks and those are the things that we we, we would have to take away and i think if we take that away um we have a much better chance to win the game jason jones hey darren just uh curious what's the comfort level you guys have with that fourth quarter lineup you've been using with the three guards yourself buddy Tyrese and Harrison and Rashawn it looks like you guys have a lot of some pretty good chemistry yeah I mean um with that group you kind of you know the shot can come from anywhere um you have multiple guys on the court that can make shots and get in the paint get to the free throw line things like that um so we're we're, we're extremely confident we have that with that with that group on the court um obviously you know Tyrese made a big shot uh, but he missed a but he missed a good one. But at the end of the day, I mean, we we go out there, we try to execute. If shots don't go in, um, then that is what it is. But I think defensively, you know, with that group, uh, we've done a pretty good job towards the end of games as well. Tony Harvey. Yeah, De'Aaron, I want to ask you about your uh, Kentucky brethren. Actually, it was two of them. If you include uh, Demarcus, but uh, John Wall. Uh, he looked pretty good out there. I know he's been away from the game, away from the league for a couple seasons now. But how did he look to you out there playing in that game? Oh, I mean, one, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm happy for him. You know, uh, what he went through was was extremely tough, and uh, just knowing the type of guy that he is, I mean, he, I knew he persevered through it. But I mean, he looked great out there. Um, I mean, he hasn't lost much of a step. I mean, he made he made some big shots, and they really needed it. Um, obviously, you know, his first game back in a while. Uh, I think he did a hell of a job uh, with that team, with James, controlling the tempo of the game and um, ultimately helping them win that game. That's my Matt only George. question. Thank you. Matt George. Hey, Fox. Team finished with a, uh, 11 steals tonight. Uh, you finished with four of them. Obviously, it's not the only defensive stat out there, but is it a, a goal for you and a goal for the team to, to be more aggressive, trying to pick pockets and, and get in those passing lanes? Definitely, definitely. I mean, that's still our, you know, one component of how disruptive we were in the game, that deflections, things like that. Um, just being able to try to get them out of what they're running. I think uh, we got our hands on a lot of balls today and um, that helped us, you know, get uh, stay in the game. There were a couple leak outs that they had that we were able to tip a pass uh, to stop a break and things like that. But um, I mean, I think we were we were pretty disruptive today. Um, but like I said, some of those stints where, you know, we were turning the ball over and they're getting easy buckets um, are, you know, one of the things that we have to really cut out. Okay, time for just a few more. Jason Anderson. Hey, Fox. Happy New Year, man. Um, what uh, You guys had fans in the building tonight for the first time in a long time. Uh, did, you, did you notice them? Um, what, was, what was that like for you guys? Uh, you noticed a little bit of the fans. Um, I think I feel like, you know, you kind of more so notice the ones like on the, on the side. But, um, man, when you're out there playing, obviously you, you notice it a little bit. But uh, at least for myself, I can only speak for me that it doesn't make, you know, a huge difference. For me, like I said, once you're – when you're playing against a different team with a different uniform one, no matter if there's 20,000 people there or no people there, it feels like a game for me. Sean Cunningham? Uh, just wanted to – 
kind of follow up on that too. I mean, here we are new year's Eve and uh, closing out a crazy 2020 year. Um, how, not necessarily resolutions or anything like that, but just how optimistic are you about going into 2021 and just kind of what lies ahead? Um, and I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm excited, you know, uh, we go three and two at the beginning of this year, but there's a lot of games to be played. You know, we know we can go into any game, honestly, and have a, and have a chance to win the game. So uh, if we can go out there and play the way we want to play, execute, um, you know, be disruptive as a defensive team, then, I mean, I don't think they're, they're, I don't think there's something that we shouldn't be excited for going along with this group. 